You are looking at the first avocados of the 2025 avocado season. Avocados come from avocado flowers, which come from avocado trees. In the springtime, the tree pushes out its first little bunches of buds. In about a day or two, those buds start to open up like this flower right here. This one happens to be open in its male phase and is glistening with pollen. Eventually, this flower will attract a honeybee, and when the honeybee comes to the flower, these male organs deposit pollen onto the fur of the honeybee. That honeybee will spend its day flying from flower to flower to flower. Eventually, it will make its way to a flower like this one that happens to be open in its female phase. The honeybee deposits the pollen that's stuck on its legs and on its fur onto the female organ of this flower and hopefully fertilization occurs. Later on, once the flowers have done their job, they turn brown and they dry up and they just kind of fall off and you're left with these little sticks or we call them straws. But every so many straws, you find a fertilized female flower at the tip and this little piece right here, I can see a little teeny tiny avocado inside there. That's going to grow into a two and a half pound Simmons variety avocado. That process happens all day, every day during springtime on the thousands of avocado trees behind me, each of which capable of holding up to one million flowers. There's no such thing as male avocado trees nor are there female avocado trees. In fact, with avocados, there's no such thing as a female flower, nor a male flower. Every single flower you see behind me here is both male and female. They have a male phase and a female phase. And the best part about it is all these trees have evolved into two types, type A and type B. Behind me, you see two rows of Monroe variety avocado. Monroe is flowering type B, which means its open flowers are male in the morning. Simmons, on the other hand, are flowering type A, which means they are open as female in the morning. So in the morning, my Monroes are creating pollen and pollinizing my Simmons. Round about midday, the flowers will close up. And then in the afternoon, flowers will open again. But on the A, they'll be male. The Simmons flowers will be male. And on the B, the Monroe, the flowers will be female. And my Simmons will be pollinizing my Monroes. Sometimes due to damage caused by wind or critters or some other anomaly, you will have your flower that was open as female close and when it reopens as male, the female organ is still present and receptive to pollen. Then the wind blows, the tree shakes, the pollen falls off the male organs onto the female organs and self-pollination occurs. But that's the exception, not the rule, which is why we avocado farmers intermix our flowering type A's and our flowering type B's. I've got about, I think I have about a dozen varieties of avocado growing in this farm. And it's probably, I probably have like seven A's and five B's. And I don't have them in separate sections. I have them intermixed to make the job easy on the bees. So they can just hop from flowering type A to flowering type B, flowering type B to flowering type A. Whenever they're landing on the male flowers, they buzz that pollen right over to the females. We get pollination and that's where our fruit comes from. Even the ubiquitous Hass avocado, the little black wrinkly one you find in the supermarket, even Hass groves have other varieties of avocado to increase pollination. Hass is a flowering type A, so farmers will often plant a Fuerte variety avocado, which is flowering type B, about every sixth or seventh flower in the row. So if you take home six Hass avocados, chop them up, make some guacamole for your next party, and you plant each of those six seeds, you're gonna get six genetically unique trees, just like when people have a baby. And that very genetic diversity is what gives us all the delicious varieties we have. The thin skin Brogdon that you can eat like an apple and chew right through the skin and swallow it. This variety right here, the anise variety, who gets its name because its leaves 
smell and taste like black licorice. They taste like anise. This guy here produces the Donnie variety. Donnies are oval shaped with a smooth, bright green skin and a mild flavor. Donnies hate the cold and we pick them in the month of May. This guy here on the other hand, the Oro Negro, he tolerates the cold very well. In fact, some say it's the most cold tolerant variety we have. Its fruit is round, has a very thick and rough black skin, and we don't pick Oro Negro till December. There is so much diversity across avocado cultivars that trends have developed. This tree behind me, for example, this produces the Black Prince avocado. Black Princes used to be very popular back in the 1970s into the 80s and super common in groves around here. Now you hardly find them. The Simmons variety we discussed happens to be a favorite amongst health conscious people. It's lower in oil content than other avocados, has a very firm flesh and a nutty flavor. You would not believe the controversy in the tropical fruit community spurred on by this variety right here we talked about early, the Donnie. This early season flowering type A has what's universally recognized as a mild flavor. Some people love a mild flavored avocado. Many people email me, text me, call me, Tom, do you have any Donnie's? It's my favorite variety. Other people insist that they're flavorless and they don't like them. You just learned everything you need to know about how avocado trees make babies. We start out with a bud. Those buds open up into flowers that have both a male and female phase, that each tree falls into a category, type A or type B, where the male and female phases are reversed so that the A's pollinate the B's and the B's pollinate the A's. You saw how once the flowers have done their job, they dry up and fall off and leave a straw. And you saw some baby avocados pushing out the end of those straws. Many of you may not have known that there are dozens of varieties of commercial avocado, each of which has its own unique characteristics. The last thing I need to teach you guys is where you can go to get this fruit if you want to taste these delicious varieties. You can get yourself a box of avocados from us at guacfarm.com, G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. If you're watching this video between the months of February and June, we don't have any avocados available, but you can pre-order if you like to. We start picking and shipping the Simmons variety in June. But lucky for you, avocados aren't the only thing we grow. We also grow these delicious mame, which happen to be available when we don't have avocados. And right now, and through the end of the month of March 2025, we're offering a promo code for $10 off. Go to guacfarm.com, G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com, put a box of Mame in your shopping cart, use promo code Mame, and get yourself $10 off. My wife told me she has some friends coming over today and that I need to leave the house to her and her friends. So I'm gonna run over to Panera Bread and get myself tomato soup in a bread bowl. While I go do that, you go to guacfarm.com and I will see you on the next video.